Well, hello there, YouTube. Man, oh man, welcome to a very warm feeling 32 degree Friday the 4th, I think we are today. Maybe it's the 3rd, uh, whatever it is, it's Friday. But a little cloudy out, kind of kept the temperatures down. It's crazy, not being in the teens feels, actually feels really good. Almost like a little spring morning kind of a feeling to it. Thank goodness it's Friday. Let's go ahead and get her started off here. Mama like every morning, protecting old Danny Magoo, cause he's so daggum slow. And here comes Abby to come steal. That's what he does, he breaks it all up in these little pieces. I think so he can gather it up real quick and take no. off. Abby, no, stay. I'll see you down there, dog. They're going at it out there. I hear saws going out there at the barn. I don't know what they're doing out there, but they're doing some fancy renovating. Mm -hmm. They got doors and all kinds of stuff. Maybe they're going to turn it into little living quarters. That seems to be a thing around here. People turn their barns into really, really nice houses. Mama. Yes, sir. I want the cold, bitter cold, dry back. Yeah, I don't like I don't like the cold and I don't like the wet. Yep. That was one wet, wet drive. Yeah, Holy yucky, moly. Yucky. Man, I don't think we made it to Castle Rock for a rain. No, it was, we're yeah. actually, yeah, we that's about. the sprinkle. Yeah. Right after we got on the freeway. Yeah. So. Take coming. It just kind of got wetter as we went south. Yep. <laughs> well, Mama, it is Friday. I got myself all, I was a day behind all week and I was talking to one of the service advisors and I go man I've been a, a day behind all week I said you watch by the end of the day I'll be thinking today's Friday and it's just like it was like a joke on myself <laughs> for the rest of the day I thought, <laughs> thought it was Friday do mom when I walk in here I'm gonna find him and punch him right in the mouth <laughs> mess me all up Oh, poor Papa. And I was even, Sasha comes in and sees me. I go, well, it's the weekend now, Sasha. You can relax. You can hang out with Mom and Dad. Oh. Oh. Kelly goes, you do know it's Thursday. Son of a rat. I hate that when you're a day off. Yeah. Especially great. when you think it's Friday and it's not. I know. It's disappointing. Then it's depressing. <laughs> it's like, really? Put yourself in all kinds of a funk. Mm-hmm. It Let's start Friday. off an actual Friday uh -huh. and um, try to stay dry as much as we can. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Love you. See you. Bye. Have I a wonderful day. You. You bye. Too. Bye now. <laughs> so this is that S1000RR that I was showing you guys yesterday. I mean, nothing, nothing powers up. It could just be a dead battery. I see. <laughs> it's got tender lead underneath that's you know all the big no-no you're supposed to do has no brakes i mean there's some things aren't attached you can see the whole air box everything's loose i'm not even sure if it's even on the throttle bodies i will not attempt to start this thing it's in for a fuel pump recall that's all we're doing to it i think he wants us to hook up and see if we can clear codes I need to see if I can even hook up to it. And um, anyway, I'm gonna get the pump in there first. Fork seal's leaking, tires are, are bald. And she needs a lot of TLC. Looks like somebody's been, I mean, even the tank is not even, not even, whoops, not even bolted down. That, that kind of scares me, the whole air box and everything just kind of sitting there. Uh, yeah, this thing's gonna light up like a Christmas tree when I hook it up to the to the computer. It needs to just turn signal wires, but still we've got things dangling around. I don't know. They may be okay. She looks rough. What fears me is when something's this rough, it, what we call the Cintia, Cintia syndrome, since you touched it. Yeah, I'm gonna make it very clear. I'm just doing the pump. And hooking it up if I can. Obviously, I'm not going to ride it. It's not street legal. And um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of code <laughs> if I can get hooked up to it. But let's get this busted out. Yeah. 
Yeah, it doesn't look like it's properly attached to the throttle bodies. But um, here's the tank. Drain it. Make sure if you had any fuel in it that it doesn't lean against the gas cap because it will weep out of the gas cap and uh, eat the paint off of it, even though this doesn't have any paint. So then anyway, we got this thick plate that holds everything down. If you're gonna use a tool, if you use in Milwaukee, make sure it's a fuel or a brushless motor. Brushed motors throw sparks. Brushless motors, no sparks. If, you don't, if you're not sure, hand tool that thing off. I will hand tool it back on, but for quick removal, just zing, zing, zing. But, uh, anyway, this is the new pump, new seal, and um, we'll get that in there. Well, gotta give it this. It did boot up. Geez, pretty much flashing like a Christmas tree there. I haven't opened up ISTA yet, so this be interesting. Pumped in. She's not leaking fuel. I knew it wouldn't leak fuel. <laughs> These modern systems. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, let's see what kind of codes this, this bad boy pulls up, huh? Ought to be a couple, huh? <laughs> He's got a few. Not as many as what I thought. Um, only thing active is intake air temperature sensor. Instrument panel control unit fault. Tail light side lights which is turn signals everything else was occurred so um and i'm not gonna even attempt to start this thing because i don't want to i don't know what's loose underneath there if there's something in that throttle body i don't want to suck anything in so here comes another beamer showing up all right it's gonna be a bmw day a uh, 2021 rt or f3 limited I mean, that battery is deader than dead. Had to trick the tester into saying it was already charged or it won't give me, won't give me the full test. If I say it's been charged, it just says replace the battery immediately. But um, it still says that because it has zero health, health and zero charge. The thing's got a tender lead on there. You get an Optimate three on these things and keep them on these computers never go quiet oh they eventually go quiet when the battery is completely gone which this one is we'll put her on the old bmw there and see if we can't resurrect some life at them but once they once they go that deep they're they're done that's a very very expensive mistake these batteries are not cheap especially you got the good one in there you got the uasa take care of that thing they'll last a long time long time all right so that's what we're doing at the moment well it's it's been a while since it's been into a shop this bolton's quite old he's got that ecm flash for a potential low compression remember i told you guys about it, it doesn't have a uh, an actual cam sensor anymore it's using, you know, computer algorithm to figure it out. Well, they updated that. And I, I'm, oh, I'm sure it was probably due to the bike being in a weird, weird state. But, um, the eco light was on. I'll let her run here and check the oil on it. She's nasty and black. We, we know, we know that it was on. <laughs> Oh man. So very infrequently, this doesn't happen a lot, but every once in a while, you just gotta kick somebody out. Somebody's so annoying that, and they don't let up, you gotta go. So just had to ban somebody today. <laughs> that's been, that's been a while. Probably several years, probably. You guys are all cool and you end up some rogue person i i feel bad for them obviously they have some issues they need to take care of and you know it just makes me sad that you know people are kind of twisted and messed up like that it's my only assumption so
So anyway, too bad. And goodbye. Well, I'll be darn. That battery's gonna survive. It's already picked up health and, and charge. Good old BMW charger. How about that? Oh, dang. It's got all its updates. It's got that um, ECM flash, the premium cluster update. Heck, it's gonna be ready to roll. So you remember the night I went out there and I drove the new K10 Cheyenne and uh, right away I set that thing on that, that old dog cage thing there and you can hear that front servo just <laughs> Well, remember I just finally got uh, one of those uh, servos for the uh, TRX4 Sport. Ordered another one for the K10, same one. And you know how I like the hobby wing uh, brushless motors? Well, I went one step better on this one. This is another hobby wing. This is the, I think they call it the Z-Run or something like that. This is the Axe system. This one is a 2800 or 28, yeah, 2800 kilovolts or whatever. So this one has a separate um, ESC from the motor. It's not a two-in-one, it's two pieces. This one, the other nice thing about it too, is you just, you Bluetooth it to your phone and make all your adjustments through your phone. But uh, you gotta solder the wires and everything to it. So I thought I got an hour here waiting for this thing to finish up, which it's it's winning, which is really cool. And uh, we'll solder some connections on this thing right quick. I'll pull it out of the box and show it to you. So this is the combo kit. So it comes with the 2800 motor and the 80 amp speed control has a fan on it you can run it not run it i probably initially will not run it you just unbolt it and just don't plug it in but you have to solder the thing it's not a it's not easy peasy that's a sensor wire so it's a censored motor oh these things are just i mean i thought about it when i got the one for the um for the truck well, you know, I was trying to hold off, but I ended up doing it. But anyway, the the sport truck. So there's the 2800 motor. There's the speed controller with the fan attached. All right. That's it. She's all set. Did the initial setup. And then once it's installed, you got to uh, set it up to your controller or your transmitter. And um, this is the wire for the fan. You just simply, if you don't want to use it, don't plug it in and unmount the fan. Well, that's a bad boy right there, huh? Yeah. Heck. Heck yeah. All right. Box her up. Piddle with it when we get home. All right. There she is. There's the new engine. New speed control. I did take the fan off. Um, the servo, if you can see the a little bit of blue, kind of see some blue here and there. <laughs> Maybe you can see it from this side, I don't know. Yeah, there you are. Man, that servo is in there. I'll turn the radio on. There's the, the new button. There's the, yeah. I need to uh, hook, <laughs> I need to set the endpoint, so I need to remember that before I I go. It goes over high enough that the um, um, arm hits. But yeah, there we are. That's nice. Everything's controlled through your phone, which is super, super cool. And uh, there's the little fan. I just took it off for now. And I'll I'll pay attention to it. If it gets hot but uh yeah you put this thing in in high gear and throttle it she rolls that's cool 2800 or is that 20 yeah 2300 that's cool now 
She'll be nice and smooth. I can crawl with her really slow. And I think she'd probably run over stuff. <laughs> Bye, little pee pad. Oh, oh, I left uh, some Traxxas tire prints on her, on her little blood testing thing there. But it all came out nice and neat. I'm very happy with that. I guess I could have made that look a little better, but she'll have the, the cover on it most of the time. Heck yeah, that steering, steering servo, man, is nuts. Yeah, see the horn. It actually comes over and touches. And you can see it's already binding stuff, so I just need to, I just go into the app and um, adjust that. I can probably do that right, right quick anyway. Yeah, buddy. We'll have to test her out if it doesn't stop, if it ever stops pouring down rain out there. Heck yeah. Well, hello there, YouTube. Man, I ended up spending three hours on that thing. Three hours. That's cool, though. But that's three very, very, very fun hours. That's a lot of stuff to do. Yeah. <laughs> but very fun. Man, the st steering servo, she don't come out of that one like it does the other ones. That lift kit, the thing's like upside down. Well, technically, it's the correct way, but the writing's upright anyway. But anyway, got everything set. Played around, scared all the dogs because it's all fine. They don't, the sound or whatever doesn't bother them anymore until I gas it. You yeah. just can't help it. And then I, I almost drove up on Abby. I thought, she, I go, oh God, she's going to let me drive on top of her. And she must have been dead asleep. She's like, what's going on? I'm about to flip the truck it? flying. And I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. She's going to let me drive over. It probably feel good. You know, little soft tires yeah. scratching on your back. <laughs> <laughs> but. Anyway, I think we're going to call it a night at that. How about that? All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Saturday or Sunday. Heck yeah. 45 degrees out here. I'm just wearing a base layer climb shirt. Yeah, Mama's you're crazy. bundled up like it's 30 out here. I got a cold chill yeah. and I can't get rid of it. Yeah, that'll happen. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye <laughs> now.